Is Buckingham Palace the family members from the royal monarchy confirming that she does not exist at all? Well, this is what we will find out because we have new information coming about this. And this information, it is very, very interesting. You do not want to miss out. This information, this news is indicating that she is fake, completely fake and it has been confirmed most of my viewers are not subscribed if you're one of them consider to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on all of these updates we have seen Meghan markle and prince harry when they were visiting uk during the platinum jubilee even during the queen's funeral they dared to break royal protocol and they were holding hands everywhere they would go they would be sticking with each other they will be holding hands they will be smiling laughing doing everything together and people ask this question why they were doing this this was a little bit odd because you don't really show your intimacy with your partner in a funeral they did not care we have seen a lot of people are taking notice of that and so right off the bat i said during that time something is off and i made this comment i think i was the first person to say that and I said, the reason they were doing this, like holding hands, almost kissing each other, almost showing a lot of, lot of public intimacy was for one reason and one reason only. And that is for Netflix. They wanted to portray themselves in that docuseries as a loving couple. There is no way around it. They wanted to show the whole world that the monarchy, the Buckingham Palace, the entire British monarchy, including Meghan's own family, they were against these two love birds means they stood against these two who were desperately and profoundly and emphatically in love with each other and so love versus family members that's how they want to portray if you take a look at all of the romantic movies you will see this same thing you have couple in love and then you have the villain they do not want you to have that kind of relationship so they fight against you to destroy your love megan harry they did that kind of stunt in order to get more views and make people tune in to their docu series become more interested and at the same time believe that they were truly in love but that never happened nevertheless the main reason they did this the main reason they were showing public intimacy was for netflix no other reason they are not in love in fact right now we know that they are not even celebrating their fifth year anniversary of their wedding they did not celebrate archie's birthday <laughs> and of course this fake kid i mean archie was fake too but this fake kid lily there is nowhere to be mentioned about her except when harry said i could not come to the uk for the court hearing the first day was because of her birthday fake again very very fake point here is that everything megan harry was doing was for the sake of netflix and money what we have seen is the same thing exact same thing with lily the only time we have seen her and archie is you know the the kid quote unquote their own kid is when they were showing those family photos through that netflix doku series other than that nobody saw them buckingham palace i'll talk more about this the family members the british royal family members they never saw them at all in fact king charles when we tried to call archie had he said no you are not going to talk to my son well the reason we know now it is not because he had some holding back against his own father it was because he doesn't have a son and so if they do have a son regardless show us proof we all want that dna test but let's be clear she doesn't exist and she is a netflix kid she's a netflix baby period there is nothing called there is this kid is living and breathing and and is the is the daughter of Meghan markle last year we have seen Meghan markle that she was so desperate for netflix clips and public opinion about her daughter that she posted a complete fake picture this one from frogmore cottage sitting in front of frogmore cottage and the reason for that was because she again wanted to let people know that here you go we have a kid and that we are going to be making this docu series please watch us watch that docu series you will find this kid there and a lot of other stuff oh my god what is going to happen but obviously we know the docu series was a big flop so what happened this time 
okay this is what i want to talk to you about so we know her birthday was june 4th it came and it was gone nobody noticed nobody cared including their own family members and close circle friends i mean family members means doria and some other people nobody wished her any happy birthday and the reason for that is because she again doesn't exist tyler perry for example the godfather even tyler perry he did not wish lily any happy birthday there was no invitation there was no party going on and so what we found found out from buckingham palace is that when they were asked about her birthday why you guys did not congratulate her why did you not wish her the best of course we know that king charles he raised a toast for uh, Lily, uh, wherever she is, quote unquote, this is what he said, allegedly. And so that's about it. Other than that, we do not know anything more than this. But Buckingham Palace, the family members, for example, Princess Catherine, William, all of these people, they are now saying that, look, the reason we did not wish her birthday for the second year is because Harry, Meghan, they themselves, number one, they did not do it. They did not make it public. And number two, which is equally important, they wanted privacy. So if the father and the and the mother, you know, quote unquote, father and mother of Lily and Archie is not interested, why would we be interested? And number two, I, I mean, this is uh, even more interesting. Number two is because the family members, the royal family members, they already know that she doesn't exist. How? If you take a look at the first birthday, Megan, she dared to invite Catherine and William to come to her first birthday party because they were in the UK and they had this fake kid with them. But William, Catherine, I mean, they are not that foolish to accept the invitation of a kid who doesn't even exist. So they declined. They said, oh, no, no, it's okay. We're not coming. Of course, we know there were some other tensions going on, but they politely declined the offer. This time they are saying that if the kid doesn't exist, if you guys are not coming out and saying anything about the kid, it's your kid. You should be proud about this, that this is our little baby, second year. We wish her the best. You did not do anything at all. Why would we do it for you? And especially now that they have a bad relationship with the rest of the royal family members, why would they bother? So the bombshell is that, guys, through this kind of repetitive behavior and silence from the British monarchy, it is now 100% and maybe 200% fact that it's a established fact. I mean, I'm telling you, this is an established fact that she doesn't exist at all. And we will see in the coming days more and more celebrities are actually not getting any interest for this family they're not willing to come out and say anything about them and their and their kids and this will continue on the king when he raised the toast for lily to me it looks like he was just making fun of it or i don't know because when he when he, when you say okay wherever you are i'm raising a toast for you happy birthday it basically means like you're joking like i mean i i don't think it was serious the king was having a banter and he was like, yeah, I know you don't exist, but wherever you are, I mean, wh why you, he would say wherever you are? Why would he not know he, she is in the States if she exists? <laughs> so basically, this kid exists in the air and the king knows it. Hopefully, this is my final point. Hopefully, he will see right through it and that he will remove the title. This fake title that are given to these fake kids will bring Meghan Harry a lot of publicity and good vibe from people because people now including neil sean they're referring her as princess and also archie as prince why would they receive this title why would they give be given a special treatment of course because if you're giving this title the monarchy has a responsibility to protect them to defend them to honor them to embrace them and to be to to stand by them if they need the monarchy to be on their side why would you take all of these perks from the monarchy when she doesn't even exist so we want the monarchy to do a dna test to find out what is happening and that these titles are then being taken away 
Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.